Debbie Birch, and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism, and we're here today to talk about an upcoming event that's coming October 5th. It's the Pocomath Auction Dinner, and I have Jack Tama here, and you're the director at Camp Pocomath, Pocomath, I always call it Camp Pocomath, um, yes. mm -hmm. in Centerville. So tell us a little bit about this. This is a good fundraiser for you all. Um, give us some information on the event. <laughs> yes, this is our this is kind of our big gala event uh, for the year. Uh, we have it at our new retreat center in the dining room. It's gorgeous. Yes, and, and uh, it's a great way to show that off as well. Um, we try to make it a really nice dinner. Our chef, uh, Chris Schultz, has prepared a menu that's um, just fabulous. I can go over that in a minute. Uh, but, but the main part of it is a silent auction um, and then a live auction. And, okay. Uh, so we have uh, uh, quilts. That, that's what uh, I was going to say. Tell us about the, some of the stuff because I've was looking at last year's pictures and all, and I'm very excited about the quilts that you all have. Well, we usually have some very nice quilts, uh, wall hangings. One of the one of the featured uh, wall hangings is done by a woman named Ruth Oatman, uh, who has done a custom hanging for us every year, and it's it's a scene from Pocomath. And so this year, it's of our uh, rec hall. Right. When people ride by on the on the river and they see the white building that says Camp Pocomath on it, that's our rec hall. So it's a picture of that from the river with some kids it's, canoeing. It's gorgeous, and we did we did get a photo of it up here on the screen, and it's just it's absolutely gorgeous quilt. <laughs> yes, yes, and so. Especially for those people who love Pocomath, right. it becomes a special kind of item. Um, we have uh, fishing trips, hunting Ooh. outings, um, restaurant gift certificates, oil chain certificates, gift cards. Oh, wow. Collectibles, art. You know, um, we try to, you know, have something for everyone. It's live and silent, too, right? That's auction. correct. Yeah, the silent auction takes place before dinner. Okay. Um, and then closes right around dinner time. And then okay. we have dinner and then the live uh Auction takes uh, place after. And uh, you actually dinner. have the auctioneer. I saw, again, some photos from last year with him going around. That's right. Uh, he's with uh, Marshall Auctions. So he's oh, a professional okay. auctioneer, and he donates his time. Uh, wonderful, so, yeah, wonderful. Right. So so the auction and all is nice, and that's a good fundraiser for you. Tell us about the food part of this. Well, uh, the menu this year, at least uh, what uh, Chris, uh, <laughs> Chef Chris has come up with so far, it uh, starts with a butternut squash soup. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the salad is going to be mixed greens with uh, walnuts and gorgonzola. And Chris makes all of his vinaigrettes, so he'll top it with oh, wow. one of his vinaigrettes. And, and just, I'm interrupting, but are these vegetables, some of these vegetables grown in the gardens that um, you do? Or we I guess might we're have getting to the end of that, so that, yeah. Yeah, we might have some, but okay. uh, it's possible not. The, it's, okay. They're trying to extend the salad season, so or the green season, uh -huh. so we might have some in there. But uh, okay. uh, if not, they'll, be, they'll still be good. Um, then the main course is going to be a sirloin steak uh, with a crab mac and cheese Ooh. and steamed vegetables. And then we're going to finish it off with uh, an apple, homemade apple crisp with vanilla ice cream. Nice. So, yes. Okay, so, you know, you can come, do the silent auction, eat, and then be involved in the live auction. That's right. And it's all for a really good cause. And um, tickets are how much? Uh, $35 per person okay. or $60 for two. Which, that's that's a really good deal because if you go out to a, a nice restaurant and get all that food, you know, it's very, and plus you're getting all the extra stuff here being there for the good cause and all. So um, how can people find out about tickets and get tickets? Uh, they can go to uh, pocomath.org, okay. our website, and uh, there should be a link right on the front page, but also okay. under Pocomath Programs, under the events section, uh, there's a whole page for the auction dinner. Wonderful, wonderful. And again, this is Sunday, October 5th, and it's from 3 to 6. And it's for a good cause. Yes. And it, as you said, the food is great, but uh, we, we have a great time with the live auction. There's yeah. a lot of fun and joking and laughing and, and, some, and sometimes some pretty intense bidding. Which well, I was going to say, people yeah. tend to get caught up in it. And then the next thing you know, they're, yeah, they're really rolling along. That's so. right. And then Pocomath the get, gets the proceeds from that. So, <laughs> so yes, there, come and get right. involved. <laughs> people can, so people can come and they can also donate if they want. Oh, okay. Um, if they it's still time to donate an item okay. or uh, a local business, if they want to be a sponsor. Uh, they, can, okay. uh, they can also be a sponsor, and uh, then they get their name in the in the program and uh, get a little publicity from that as well. And that's okay. all on, on that web page. That's what I was going to yes. say, and they can go right to the website and find that info out also. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for coming in, Jack. Well, thanks for having me again, Debbie. All righty. Yes.